Hi, we're just recapping today's class, um, August 9th, creating a Unreal Engine 2K um, PBR setup here. And what we'll be looking at primarily in this is roughness, normal maps, and base maps. Um, another, well, base color, otherwise known as an albedo map, otherwise known as a um, diffuse map, normal maps, otherwise known as bump maps, and um, roughness maps, um, otherwise known as gloss maps, and sometimes spec maps. They're not exactly all the same, but very, very similar. So we'll start off with a uniform color, and we'll just pick one, or pick a few, and you can see here that it's really just displaying the colors um, on screen. Um, you can choose whatever color you like. You'll notice the darker the color is, the more glossy um, or reflective the surface appears. Um, it's basically uh, the ability to absorb light. Um, that's what reflectivity is. Um, but it certainly accentuates that the darker the color, the more reflective something appears. And that's just due to the contrast of the... Um, of the reflectivity map. Um, so what we'll do here is just plug in a normal. This is just a normal that came as a default in um, Substance Designer. As you can see here, um, it looks like a fairly patchy concrete um, job, just chunks missing and uh, very reflective, like it's been given a new coat of paint, but no one's really plastered up the holes. And um, it's really effective at generating the illusion of um, geometry there. But that's uh, you know, just a six-sided six -sided cube with some filleted edges. So as you can see there, it's very effective at um, generating that illusion. Um, what we'll do is we'll get another uniform color for the roughness. Now, roughness is um, measured from 0 to 1. Um, 0 being black, 1 being white, and uh, gray being 0.5, or depending on which shade of gray do you have. And as you can see here, um, the, as soon as we go black, it's incredibly shiny or not rough, um, and if we go slowly up the spectrum, it will change from being quite matte and non-reflective. So it kind of seems like a double negative saying something's not rough, um, or making calling it not matte, but that's kind of what it is. It's just basically the ability to... Um, Absorb light. Um, that's what a roughness is, um, without getting too technical. Um, so what we'll do next is mix it up a little bit. The great thing about Substance Designer um, is that using this type of uh, coding, I guess, for lack of a better term, or um, nodal coding, um, you can create some pretty interesting, repeatable um, PBR shaders. Um, here you go, we can kind of tweak it a bit, and got this nice sort of um, repeatable uh, hexagonal pattern here. And what we can do is we can change the frequency of the pattern and we can plug that into a blur and then plug that into a normal um, filter. Note the normal filter is uh, adjusts dynamically and filters into the normal channel. We'll get into that a little bit more later. But as you can see here, we've just put this blur filter over the top and you can um, dramatically change the um, aesthetic appearance 
of the um, of the bumpy pattern there, and all the hexagonals kind of look a little bit uh, softer and a little bit more round, um, and not quite as defined with the the blur pattern. And there's a bunch of these you can kind of play with, and you can create quite um, extensive nodal networks within this package but i'm just really just showing you the basics of what you can achieve just with the three shaders here and as we spin the cube around you can kind of see how the object reflects light like that being sharp and being soft um, really uh, affects the perception of um, The protrusion or how deep that bump map is. Um, again, it's just an illusion, it's just uh, texturing, there's no geometry behind this whatsoever. So, unlike Mudbox, where it actually creates new geometry, this is just um, texturing over the top of it, like uh, projecting or putting a bit of wallpaper over the top of something, or um, putting some vinyl wrap or something like that. It's no actual geometry. It's just the, um, I guess, the illusion of geometry um, being rendered out in real time on the graphics card there. We'll uh, get another PBR material, um, this time concrete, and you can kind of see as you put the um, base color or the diffuse color there, and you keep the bump map, um, has an interesting effect. And likewise with um, this, it keeps that bump map there, but um, has a sort of polished sandstone type finish. It's got quite a quite a high gloss rate actually. Um, we get rid of that, and we might just plug in a few and see how we go. Now you compare that to. Um, this and this looks like a unfinished bit of sandstone straight from the quarry um, from you know from bench top to uh, straight to uh, a bit of sandstone ready to be chiseled out by a mason um, it's quite impressive how just changing simple things like normal maps and roughness maps can actually change dramatically um, the look and feel um, of a material here we go, if we chuck this in the, uh, the roughness map again, just a slightly different roughness map, um, giving greater variance to the, uh, the, the the roughness or the gloss there, really does highlight um, some of those gouges there. This is a really great um, material, this checker pattern here, because it features white, black, and uh, shades of grey. As you can see here, when you plug it, into the roughness map um, sans everything else you can really see what effect um, the different values have there um, everything from the black being um, super shiny to the white being um, incredibly matte and uh, uh, gray and if we plug this into the oh hang on what are we gonna do ah that's right we're gonna Okay, we'll plug this straight into the normal, and you can see it looks a little bit funny. But if we put a normal modifier in there, or a normal filter, um, and we plug that to that, and we output that into the normal, you can see um, it looks like a little bit of a checkerboard pattern um, there. You'll notice with the normal map that uh, blacks and greys and whites don't matter so much. When you actually have a filter in between it, but as soon as you plug it straight in, um, it's like a chessboard almost. Uh, so I guess the point to take away from that is uh, just right click like we're doing here and add a normal modifier um, before plugging in a black and white um, a black and white map or black and white generator or pattern or bitmap or whatever the case might be. There you go, you can kind of see how changing the edge smoothness really um, creates that definition, or lack thereof. 
Um, we'll go down. We'll get some fractal, uh, fractal rather noise, and put that in the bump. And as you can see there, sorry, the pump, the roughness. As you can see, that's gone quite matte. And I guess what we're just doing here is just adding a few different types of the purlin pattern there doesn't really work that well as a diffuse or albedo later. So there you go. Um, I guess the point of this tutorial is just to recap what we did today and just to show you using three different layers, the um, base color, otherwise known as the albedo or um, diffuse layer, um, paired with the normal map, otherwise known as the bump map, um, paired with a roughness map, otherwise known as a gloss or spec map, depending on what software. Just these three layers alone have a really great impact on how the look and feel of a object is defined. Um, even a simple medium poly object, if it's well textured, um, can look quite spectacular with the right um, system. This is also a quick overview of this parametric style of um, shader creation and gives you an overview of just how to create really basic sorts of networks, um, shader networks. And this is not dissimilar at all to how shaders work in Unreal. And it also gives you a quick primer um, that you can explore further with um, investigation of substance using Linda tutorials and the algorithmic substance tutorials. But yeah, just in case you missed it today um, or you wanted a recap, um, this was it. Three different shaders we're looking at today. Um, the base color, diffuse, or um, albedo shader was the first. Next was the normal map or the bump map, um, also known as micro details um, in our, some circles. Um, and finally, the roughness map, which is otherwise known as roughness, gloss, or spec maps, depending on um which software or who's describing it but yeah they're all much of a muchness slight differences depending on but for our purposes um you could see today how they all work so yeah hopefully that's a good primer and kind of ex um gives you an understanding of the basics of those three shaders um, and you can go forward and use them in your project